Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. Today we're back with the Empire, as you can see, going to be taking on the Dark Elves. So let's go ahead and take a look at the army composition. Karl Franz going to be leading the way here. I didn't bring Stand Your Ground, or sorry, uh, Hold the Line it is, which got a change in the recent patch. I had meant to bring it in this build, but I forgot to include it here. But uh, anyway... Carl's got Stand Your Ground, Reichland Runefang, and Galmaraz, with the Royal Author of Griffites, of course, being his bodyguard. We've also got some Reichsguard backing them up. Jade Wizard here, and a Witch Hunter up front. Four Spearmen with Shields, we've got some Flagellants, which did get a buff in the recent patch. They've got a bit more HP, so they can stick around for a bit longer. Sigmar Suns as well. And then the uh, bit of fun here, we've got the Sunmaker. So, uh, since the Dark Elves tend to go pretty infantry heavy, they really, I mean, they can bring some Cav, but they're really more an infantry focused faction. Uh, this Sunmaker can definitely pay out. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that does. We've got some more Reichsguard over here on the far side. These are the Zindler's Reichsguard, just providing some line of sight here up on this hill. For our opponents, the Dark Elves here are going to be led by Marathi on foot. Uh, Marathi on foot actually is pretty tanky and very hard to take down because of her uh, anti-large armor piercing. She's also got the debuffs here, so Heart Render and Dark Sword and the Enchanting Beauty both uh, combining make her very tough to take down. She's also got Soul Blight, Pit of Shades, and Soul Stealer, as well as Deadly Onslaught. We've also got a Death Hag on foot as well. She's also got all of her abilities as well as this uh, item here the Chill Blade for some addi additional minus 5 melee attack. Uh, very wide army here, front line of bleak swords, couple of dark shards with shields, dread spears out to the flanks, three units of corsairs, two reaper bolt throwers, and two cold one knights. So let's get the battle into full gear, and uh, yeah, my opponent obviously does have uh, some artillery to try and counter skirmish here. Let's see how he tries to use it, but uh, obviously the rocket battery does have much longer range, and so we're going to be unleashing these rockets from a very great distance here. And uh, my opponent will have to pull up in a range here. I'm currently actually targeting his Reaper Bolt Throwers. I was saying maybe we can take down enough crew uh, to stop them from using all of the pieces. But uh, yeah, we're doing some okay damage. But I am going to eventually switch my target over to these Dark Shards. They are obviously a high value target. They're not wildly expensive. But my opponent really doesn't have that many super expensive units for me to sh excuse me, shoot at. But uh, you can see his uh, Reaper Bolt Throwers here are going to be opening up shots. They are just shooting in my infantry, so I'm going to go go ahead and pull back. My opponent at this point, what I would do if, if I was in his position would be to definitely push forward. You don't want to sit back and let this thing use up its ammunition because it has a very fast refire rate. And then uh, get these uh, Reaper Bolt Throwers and start targeting uh, this Sunmaker here. Obviously, he can't see any of the cavalry that's hidden in the woods here. He just sees the front line of infantry. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely push forward a little bit more and maybe try and target the Sunmaker. If you can potentially take down one of the, the artillery pieces, it'll have less ammunition to fire because the ammunition is, you know, per piece. So, if that piece isn't firing, then obviously it doesn't get to use that ammunition, right? So... Uh, my opponent, though, kind of hanging back a little bit, just content to skirmish with my infantry, and uh, this is going to allow me to get some really nice damage done with these rockets here. You can see this unit of Dark Shards actually going to rout at this point, uh, just because of the damage done with these rockets here. And, uh, yeah, I'm super glad the Hellstorm rocket battery is finally a worthwhile piece of artillery. You can see my infantry are taking some damage here, but, uh, I mean, on the whole, my my infantry are much cheaper, and the rate at which uh, these artillery pieces deal damage. I mean, obviously the rockets are going to deal damage at a much faster rate, not only because the Sunmaker has a very fast refire rate, but it just each rocket does a ton of damage wherever it makes contact. If they do make contact, that is uh, one of the issues. A little bit inaccurate here, but uh, yeah, my opponent also shooting at the Zintler's Reichsguard. This anti-infantry mode is going to do relatively little. You definitely want it in the anti-large mode if you're going to be shooting at those cavalry. But, uh, yeah, at this point, I'm just trying to use up the last of my ammunition. We've got a few more volleys left on the Sunmaker here to dish out. So, uh, once those are done, we'll go ahead and advance. My opponent has gamely let me use all my ammo, so a big thanks for that. <laughs> In the front line, you can see these bleak swords definitely taking some, uh, some nasty hits there. But, uh, yeah, I figured you guys would want to watch some cinematic action of the... Uh, 
rockets. We'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit here as I use up the last of my volleys. My opponent is targeting my flagellants, which is actually not a terrible target. Um, of course, again, he can't actually see any of the real high value units hidden in the woods here. And since the Sunmaker is just about out of ammo, there's really no point in shooting at it now. It's been a, it's been a bit too long to really get value in shooting out of it, uh, shooting at it rather. So yeah. We'll just watch these last few volleys of rockets come down as the earth shakes and fire and brimstone and all that jazz. So, yeah, it's uh, looking pretty good for me so far. Balance power is already tipped in my favor. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get this Witch Hunter moving up. Try and maybe bait out a nice uh, favorable engagement for myself for the, with these Cold One Knights. Um, but, yeah, the rocket's pretty much out of ammo at this point. So we'll fast forward a little bit as I'm going to advance up the field here. And, uh, yeah, you can see my infantry is taking some pretty serious damage. The uh, Spearmen with Shields, the Sigmar Sun's also taking some heat now as well. But uh, I'm pretty comfortable. We've got, you know, 142 kills on that Sunmaker. Uh, the Witch Hunter here is going to be kiting back a little bit. He's dropped the Accusation and also going to be popping off shots, taking down some unit models here and there. And, uh, yeah, this is essentially just bait for the trap here. You can see the Royal Altar for It's going to push through get in on these uh, Cold One Knights. The Cold One Knights try and run, but uh, they do get caught here, and yeah, the Fear and Terror is going to kick in very quickly, terrify away those uh, those uh, Cold One Knights there. Meanwhile, over on the other side, this other unit of Cold One Knights, uh, we managed to catch them. They didn't get their charge bonus, so Cold One Knights do have a 56 charge bonus. It's pretty considerable. They don't have the best combat stats in terms of their sustained stats, so if they get charged by Reichsguard, you can definitely see the result there. Meanwhile, mainline engagement kicking off underway. You can see state troop spearmen engaging with the uh, dread spears here. Uh, in the main line, we've got bleak swords uh, and uh, black art corsairs facing off against the Sigmar Suns. We've come in with a nice alpha strike here. The Reichsguard just pushing through, and then here come the Franz, Franz, and the Altdorf Griffites here. Going to be applying a nice armor-piercing rear charge getting a beautiful terror route going, and this entire flank is going to collapse for my opponent. Uh, Murderous Prowess now popping off, but it's a bit late for that. Uh, you can see the balance power is already tipped pretty far in my favor here, so yeah, we'll just kind of grab some cinematic action as we move toward the late stages of the battle here. Reichsguard and uh, Royal Altar Fights just pushing through very aggressively. Flagellant's also doing their work, you know, they're racking it up. Uh, not sure exactly where they'd have got off to, but yeah, they pushed through with the help of those Reichsguard, now cleaning up some units in the back line. I definitely like Flagellants a bit more in this matchup since they have good health. You tend to face a lot of high value, low armor units in this matchup, you know, things like Witch Elves, Sisters of Slaughter, that sort of thing. Uh, I'd imagine they'll beat Flagellants, but uh, Flagellants can trade reasonably cost effectively there. They'll do well against things like Bleak Swords, Dread Spears, and so on. Even Black Art Corsair Corsairs, they'll trade okay against them. Um, but yeah, you can see even the, the, uh, the Sunmaker crew getting their swords out, mixing it up in melee combat here a little bit, obviously. Since this isn't a campaign battle, I'm not worried about preserving the unit whatsoever. But uh, yeah, at this point, it's pretty much just leadership units left. For the Dark Elves, you can see Marathi uh, duking it out with Carl Franz here. We'll soak up some sweet cinematic action of this duel here. Marathi had tried to put a, put a, sh a pit of shades right on top of those Reichsguard, but uh, unfortunately for her, we were able to pull away in time and not get caught by that. Although you can see there was one or two Unimodels caught up in there, and they were actually pretty much stuck in that vortex the whole time. So I do actually quite like the use of pit of shades against heavy cavalry, overcast in particular. Can do quite a bit of damage, but unfortunately, just a little bit too little, too late from Marathi. We'll watch as Carl Franz uh, teaches her the meaning of Warhammer. So, uh, fun stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, pretty fun battle. I didn't get to show off as many of the new things as I would have liked. Uh, I do think that the Warrior Priest uh, has some great potential now that he has that area of effect melee attack, but. Uh, Overall, Sunmaker, it wasn't buffed in this most recent patch, but it was buffed when the Queen and the Crone first came out, and uh, definitely have to say, uh, a lot of fun to use, and it seems reasonably effective, especially in a matchup like this. Uh, Reichsguard did quite well, 108, 86, 104 on the uh, Altdorf Griffites as well, so just all across the board, uh, my unit's performing quite well for my opponent. Like I said, he just needed to push forward. He, I think he just waited a little bit too long to engage. Uh, even then, it would have been tough fighting uphill against that uh, that force I had, but getting both his Cold One Knights caught out 
and then just kind of biding his time there um, and letting the Sunmaker use up all its ammo was definitely a mistake. Likewise, if he had pushed forward and used his uh, two Reaper Bolt Throwers to counter counter artillery, he might have been able to take down one or maybe even more of the artillery pieces for the Sunmaker, and that would have allowed him to then uh, not take quite so much damage from it. But uh, yeah, fun battle overall. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button. So every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you once again, and we'll see you next time.